Wilmer didn't have a whisper, but he did lower his voice. They won't be going with us. Shut up now, and I'll explain. He listened in silence for the next few minutes, interrupting only once to say, Break it with wool. A piece from one of the cots. Assuming we can get it off, that won't be easy, because we have to work quietly. He nodded. As she continued with her explanation about the problem with Reza's conversion and Jenny's solution to that, he moved over to the other cot and stooped beside it. Three minutes later, he came back to sit beside her. He had a smug look on his face. In one hand, he held the solid eye bar leg of the cot. His satisfaction disappeared when Celine said, Wrap a piece of sheet around it. You make outside, his head on Celine's pillow. With his fair skin and unlined face, he looked about ten years old. Wilmer raised the cudgel and stood frozen. He shook his head. Celine took the club from him. It's worse for him if you don't, she said, and swung hard to the right side of the defenseless head. The young face went slack. Celine looked down in horror. She forced herself to whisper. Get a sheet. We don't know how long he'll be unconscious. We have to tie and gag him. And hope to God I haven't killed him. While Wilmer was back in the bedroom, she made a quick inspection. The head above the right ear was swollen. She could feel no depression beneath it. The skin was unbroken, and he seemed to be breathing normally. She 